Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Jimmy and how he was hoodwinked and Marco as well by Anthony. One of the really interesting things I think is un not mentioned enough was in the, if I was their marketing consultant, I could have told them this, that they bought the original TPG channel assuming that without Anthony... And you can watch their first and second videos, which, again, were kind of done as in spite of Anthony, would allow them to launch a successful YouTube channel. That didn't happen. And honestly, the content got worse and worse and worse and with less, fewer and fewer and fewer views. It was not interesting having Marco be the main guy. And... Many of the people who followed TPG left um, this channel and went to go watch Anthony on his own personal channel at that point in time. So the fact that Anthony was able to sell TPG, the YouTube TPG, to Grand Caliber, the investors Jimmy and Marco, none of them realizing that they just bought a toxic asset for upwards of a million dollars, according to Anthony in the past. This was a brilliant chess move. And one last big middle finger to Jimmy and the team. Uh, and as well as Marco. And you got to give Anthony credit. He got them. He got them bad. Because they bought an asset that they would have been much better off two years later. I mean, does anyone or a year later... Does anyone have any doubt had they just started a new channel, they could get 1,000 views on their video or 10,000 views on their video? I have no doubt. They have multiple videographers. I, uh, one of them, I believe, is a full-time editor, Matt. They have a photographer. They do you know, set pieces. They've spent a lot of money on YouTube from Marco traveling, Marco being that guy. They've spent a lot of money. And very, very little to show for it. Now, if you're spending that type of money and you're getting hundreds of thousands of views, I guess you can justify that as a marketing expense. But when you're sending Marco to New York City or you're spending sending Marco to the F1 show or you're spending a Ja who's no longer with the company to the Vegas to buy, yeah, you're not going to make money unless the viewership is incredibly high um, to justify that spend. And this is one of the most masterful moves I've ever seen from Anthony. And it is just crazy how he was able to sell an asset that later would, uh, due to its association with Anthony, be toxic to these guys. And none of them, I think they had a marketing company at the time, the marketing company didn't advise them that it wasn't going to work. People who buy other people's channels and they rebrand it as their own, it won't work. People are following that person, not the company. And as soon as that, especially if that person is Anthony, and then they go ahead and create their own channel, whatever you thought you were buying is no longer the same. I see this happen time and time again in businesses where they think that they can buy. I, one of my first legal cases as a law student in William Mary was helping a person who bought a business it was a printing business she so believed that it was going to be x and honestly it was y because the main manager and the reason that they were doing well in sales had left and she took all her clients and her book of business with her to start her own competing marketing or a competing print shop uh, this was a elderly couple who were convinced that this was a great investment idea and it would help supplement their retirement money only to find out that the majority of the money that they were looking at in QuickBooks, the majority of the revenue, all of the profit was due to a single saleswoman. And that saleswoman was not happy with the acquisition and left. And there, all these sales plummeted into oblivion. And that is what happens to businesses. When you have a business that is very reliant or dependent or has a person face forward, like Anthony, like... Roman, like any of these great market watch businesses, watch Nico, timepiece trading, so on. 
it's hard to sell the business and have the new owner be as successful as the previous owner in terms of view, social media, revenue, profit, all this stuff. Because the business would not exist without that owner. So what you're actually doing is you're buying, you are buying, uh, and, and shockingly, you're, you're buying a business without its heart, without the guy who makes the business or a gal who makes the business operate. And that, in my opinion, is an absolute sin in terms of mergers and acquisition. And this is something that if you have a um, good marketing agency, they would have advised Marco and Jimmy and the investor, don't buy this, Let, give it to Anthony, he'll run with it, whatever. And just spend money and spend that million dollars plus whatever else you're going to spend. Spend that money on anything but uh, somebody else's YouTube channel because at least then you can grow organically. One of the reasons their views are continuing to go down is you know, what YouTube's algorithm does. It picks 100 people at random. Shows them uh, the the video with the thumbnail, right? And if those hundred people don't click on the thumbnail, then it doesn't show it to a thousand or ten thousand people. That's what's happening right now, is because everyone on the old channel wanted to see Anthony in the thumbnail and in the video. They're not clicking on the current videos by Grand Caliber, which are produced high level produ production. Say what you will, it is a high-level production uh, in terms of a product, in terms of video. You can tell they have hired multiple professionals to shoot. Uh, you can tell that that's what's going on here. And yet, they still have less views than a guy vlogging on the camera, right? And that makes a lot of sense if you... Uh, if you if you really think about it, it's not the brand that people are attracted to or the company. It's a person. It's always a person behind the brand that people like. And when that person is gone or that person is, you know, let's say an entertainer, then the brand goes to zero because what do you have left? Like you don't have anything left and replacing but Focusing on Marco was a massive mistake. And when they kept doing that, they kept losing more and more viewers. And that, I mean, it would still be subscribed to Grand Caliber, but the way the algorithm worked is no one clicked on the video or on the thumbnail to watch the video. And even if they did click on the thumbnail to watch the video, they didn't stay very long. So the watch time was very short. So YouTube is basically shadow banned the Grand Caliber channel, they would have been, again, way, way better off, uh, in my personal opinion, just creating a new channel from scratch and just going with it, right? Um, and I think that is, that's definitely something that they'd probably regret. Uh, they regret uh, immensely. They could have started from their own channel they could have um, they could have started from their own channel. They could have used all that money to send Marco places to find a better replacement on their own channel, or maybe made a channel that were just fans of Marco. But instead, they paid a whopping million dollars for a dead for a channel that would later be dead while Anthony was off in the sunset making his other channel successful. Anyway, hot guys.